Video is one of the most powerful ways to engage your students, especially visual and auditory learners. But when you're short on time and energy, creating something good can feel totally out of reach. Until now. In this lesson, we'll show you how to use Canva's built-in video tools, including a few handy AI features, to quickly create amazing videos for the classroom. You'll be all set to hook your students, support different learning needs, and open space for student collaboration. Just wait and see. You're gonna be a video pro by the end of this. Video editing can seem like tricky business. So many moving parts, you don't know where to start. That's why Canva's expansive video template library is so helpful. In fact, I'd say it's a teacher's best friend. Let's have a look together. From the Canva homepage, go to Education and then select Educational Video. Head over to Design tab here to find a template that matches your subject. I'll search for Photosynthesis. Ooh, this one is a great start. I'm now in the video editor. Instead of pages, you work with clips in the timeline at the bottom. There's a playhead that lets you preview and edit specific parts of your video. If you grab and drag the playhead, you'll see the main image changes. Let's add a new clip. Head to the Elements tab and open the video library. Use the search field to narrow down your selection. You can preview footage by hovering your cursor over videos, like this. When you find the perfect one, drag the video directly into the timeline where it will add a new clip. You can trim them down or lengthen clips like this. Want audio? Head to Elements and then Audio. And again, just drag your selected track into the timeline. Now for the finishing touches. I'll change that title and add in the class name. I'll adjust the color and font and it's ready to go. Shall we hit play? Great, it's almost ready to use in my classroom. With Canva's drag and drop editor and a huge library of clips and audio, it's never been easier to introduce video into your classroom. Why not give it a try yourself? Let's say I wanna add a little more guidance or a personal touch to one of my videos. I can record myself for students to re-watch it later as a study tool. With my video open, I'll select uploads and then record yourself. Now we have two options to choose from. Select record a talking head if you want to record your face and voice at the same time. If you don't want your face on screen, choose record voiceover. In this case, I'd like my students to focus on the visuals in the video with my narration to guide them. So I'll select record voiceover. Okay, here I go. <clears throat> Hit record. Three, two, one. Hello everyone. Welcome to this lesson about what's inside a leaf. I think that went well. I can quickly prepare all the slides and deliver a complete lesson, presenting it directly to them. The great thing about doing this is that you're showing students how easy it is to do, and therefore encouraging them to do it themselves. Voila! My video is now ready to share with the whole class. All I do now is select a sign, and then choose who I'd like to share it with. It's that easy! Now let's talk captions. Captions improve accessibility, but they also support a wide range of learners. Whether they struggle with processing audio, prefer reading along, or simply forgot their headphones that day, Canva makes it easy to add captions in just a few clicks. Here's my video I created for my class. All I need to do is click on the video, go to text, then choose captions. I select the clips I want to grab captions for and then hit Generate Captions. That's it. Canva does the rest, syncing the text to the audio in seconds. I can even personalize my captions by choosing a student-friendly font, changing the color, or moving them to an area where it's easier to read. 
The first thing I want to show is this incredible time lapse of a seedling emerging. Isn't that amazing? Now every student can follow along, whether they're watching with sound, reading as they go, or just needing a little extra support. When a video works really well with your class, why not share it more widely? It could go in the weekly staff newsletter, on a digital display, or even become a Facebook post. Canva makes it easy to repurpose videos for any format. First, I'll download the video by going to the Share menu, selecting Download, and choosing MP4 Video. This will create an MP4 video file in my downloads, ready to send or upload wherever it's needed. Then, I'm going to transform my video into a Facebook-ready post, so our whole school community can access it. I've got my video open here, and I'm going to use Resize to transform it instantly. All I do is navigate to Resize, and then choose Social Media, and then Facebook Video. I'll select Copy and Resize so it creates a new design. Wow, that was so fast. I'll just move a few things around so it fits these dimensions perfectly. Now my video is ready to share with the world across socials, fostering that home to school connection. Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson about what's inside a leaf. We began with a simple video template, turned it into an engaging video, added captions, and resized it for different platforms, all inside Canva. The one step we haven't covered yet is how to get your students involved. Creating videos as a class helps students unleash their creativity, collaborate effectively, and get a deeper understanding of the material. One way that works really well is to have them reinterpret a project as a video trailer. For instance, if they've read a book for a class assignment, Ask them to work in groups to create a book trailer using Canva's extensive image and video libraries. This encourages them to think deeply about the major plot points, characters, and the overall tone of the book. Another idea is to have students produce explainer videos, whether they're clarifying a scientific concept or illustrating a historic event. Again, they can use video, animations, graphics, and voiceovers to make their explanations both informative and captivating. Projects like this not only reinforce student understanding of the subject matter, but also help develop their communication and presentation skills. Now it's your turn. Try creating one short video for your next lesson, a warm-up, a group project, or even a reflection task. Then see how far you can take it. We can't wait to see what you make. Share your projects with us on social media or in our teacher communities.